Welcome everybody, welcome. My name is Mark McCormick, for those who don't know, and uh, I'm Moses McCormick's brother. I'm Lao Shu's brother. Uh, as many of you know, uh, you've probably heard the news, I'm sure you all heard the news by now, of uh, the passing of my brother Moses. And I'm sure that you probably said, well, 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 how did he pass? Or how did he die? What happened? That's the same feeling that I had when I first heard the news. Like, I said, what happened? So, what you may have heard that happened was he had a heart attack. Okay? But... If that is true, we don't know what caused that heart attack. We don't know if it was induced. We don't know nothing. We don't know nothing of the such. My brother didn't have a history of heart disease. He didn't have a history of health problems. I spent a lot of time around him to know the condition that his health was in. He didn't have any chronic illnesses. All right. So I'm not buying the heart attack narrative. I'm not buying the heart attack narrative. And I'm going to tell you even more of the reason why I'm not buying the heart attack narrative, because I'm not I'm not a dummy. And I seen the condition that his body was in. I seen it. I seen the condition. The condition was no heart attack. Okay? The condition was no condition of a heart attack. The condition was very horrifying. Very horrifying. I'm not going to get into the details, but it was extremely horrifying. Okay? So it's unfair to lie to the world and lie to all these millions of people that knew this brilliant man and watch him interact with all kind of different people. It's unfair to lie to the world and tell the world that this man died of a heart attack. This man was killed. And I've, I've voiced a voice of concern. Okay? In 2020, I shared my concerns regarding the situation with him being associated with that new girl that nobody knew. Okay? So, as we go further, we will seek answers. And again, like I said, we are, we have put together our own investigative team where we will be providing all the answers to you directly as we learn them here on this channel. So you don't have to worry about being lied to. You don't have to worry about being given information that's been filtered. You don't have to worry about not being told the truth because you're going to learn the truth from me because I'm not going to let a lie rest on that man's legacy. I'm not going to let a lie rest on my brother's legacy. I'm not going to let a lie rest on his name. And it will be a damn lie to tell the world that he died of a heart attack. Okay, so now that we got that out the way, some of you might say, well, who was he last with? Okay, 
That's a, I've seen that question going around a lot. The last person he was with was the girl. You know, I'm not going to advertise her name here. For those who know, you know. So that's who he was with. Okay. And many of many of my family members and many of his very loyal fans know that his birthday was on Friday. His birthday was on Friday. So as far as the girl was, uh, as far as the girl, why didn't she acknowledge his birthday on his birthday? You're supposed to be a grieving fiance. So, it's a lot of things that just don't add up. And they know I know. They know I know. They know that I know what the fuck they did. And so you might say, well, who is they? Who is they? Who is they? Let me tell you who they are. All the ones. Who been emailing him. And they know who I'm talking about. If it don't apply to you, it don't apply to you. But you 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 know. And the girl, she know. And the people she's been emailing and texting and calling. Okay? So that's who they are. Okay. So now that we took care of that, you need to understand that these people are lying. These blogs and these people, they don't know shit. They just repeating. They just parroting. They just repeating what, what they heard from this person or that person or this. It's lies. It's lies. The man was killed. Okay. And there was a series of events that happened before the death of my brother that was also dangerous. It was a lot of dangerous stuff that was happening. Okay. There was a lot of things. There was things that happened to even me before that. Okay. So. This is not just, oh, Moses McCormick died of a heart attack and that's it. No, it's more to it. And we're going to we gonna fill in all those gaps. So we're going to need the support of everybody from the Deception Stoppers channel. We're going to need the support of everybody from the Language channel, Lao Shu 55,000. We're going to need the support of the YouTube community and we're going to need the support of our fellow Americans and American patriots. We're going to need the support of all of you collectively because this isn't right. We're going to also need the support of, you know, the uh, international fans, people all over the world. We're going to need all of that support because this is a very serious matter. This could have been anybody. This could have happened to, this could be your son or your brother. Okay, this could be your son, your brother, your uncle. You know, this isn't okay. This this isn't okay because from the way that I look at it, it's telling me, oh, we got people that's actually allowed to kill people. So we have people, we have a people that are in the country that are actually allowed to kill people and lie about it and put it on the news, put the lie on the news, cover it up, and everybody go back and doing what they was doing. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. We ain't having that here. We not having that here. Lying, you know, people's and lied about 
people's cause of death in the past, lions saying people that choked on eggs and lions saying people that had, you know, colon cancers and, you know, and a lot of people was just straight up just killed. And so now I know that because I can see from this that this is a, there's a systematic to this. This isn't something that just, this has been done before. In probably a lot of different cases. But we gonna focus on this case. We gonna focus, we're gonna focus on this case. Cause this is a case now. A very serious one. A case that we're gonna need everybody's support with. We can't count on the local officials to do this work. It's too many legs and arms together and we need innocent energy on this. We need people that can't be bought on this. We need dedicated people who want, who want to understand and know and learn the truth because this could have been, this man, he wasn't a drug dealer. He wasn't a, uh, uh, you know, he wasn't a bad man. You see what I mean? So this could have been, like I said, this could have been your son or your brother. Okay. So how would you feel if, if, if you know your brother or your uncle or your son was killed and then you looking at the TV and all these people all around the world is in these comment sections thinking that he just died of a heart attack. That's not fair. Why you get to suffer knowing that his life was stolen from his kids, from his brother, from his mother, from his sisters, from the rest of his family and fans who, 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 who had so many more hopes to see him do so much more. His work wasn't done here. It was just beginning. And it was stolen. 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 It was interrupted and stolen. And I'm here to expose it. I don't care who don't like it. I don't care what you tried to do to me. That's not going to stop me. That's not going to make me disregard these truths. You see what I mean? Like I said to y'all, there was a series of events that happened before my brother passed away. There was a series of things that took place, attacks on me. So, that makes me even more suspicious of the whole entire situation. And there's a lot of key people that I believe that are involved. And so I'm not gonna say much more. I'm not gonna make this video very long, but I just wanna make it a point to let y'all know that my brother was killed and we're going to start our own investigation. We're going to put together a fund here on this channel that you could donate to. And know that is going to be strictly for the cost of investigative efforts, uh, private eyes, and all that, everything. So we're going to come with the works. And then what we want to do is provide everybody um, updated information as we learn more details. Um, we want to really uh, be able to focus on this thing and figure out what happened. So while the authorities are investigating, we'll be doing an investigation of our own. We will be doing investigations of our own. Because y'all know how I feel about that kind of stuff. You know, I know the games that can be played and the cover-ups that can be hap that can happen. I've seen it before. So I know this is hard for a lot of you. It's hard for me. It's 
just really unbelievable, but he would have wanted me to fight. He would have wanted me to get revenge. That's what he would have wanted. He would have wanted me to tell y'all the truth. That's what he would have wanted me to do. Regardless. Regardless. Of what kind of issues we may have had. He would have wanted me. To tell y'all. The truth. He would have wanted to. He would have wanted me. On top of everybody's asses. He would have wanted me. To keep y'all abreast. He would have wanted y'all to know the truth. He wouldn't have wanted y'all to be lied to. About how he died. He was a big part of why this Deception Stoppers channel was even created. Okay, so that's what I know he would have wanted. So you guys need to know that. So again, there's going to be a lot of information coming across from different sources and just be careful what you believe because a lot of people don't know what they're talking about. A lot of people don't know the information. A lot of people don't know the situation. A lot of people don't know the context that the information fit in to understand what they're understanding. So, we're going to figure out how we can all get through this. I don't know how, but I'm sure we'll find a way how to get through this. I just feel like Based on what I know, that this situation is not right and justice will be served. Justice will be served. It will be. It's time to stop lying. It's time to stop lying. It's time to, it's time for this stuff to come out. This man was killed. And it's not fair. The lies. It's just not fair. But uh, if you guys have any questions, enter them in the comment section. Um. We'll do our best to answer those questions. And uh, you can find the uh, information to support the investigation efforts in the uh, description area. Um, any contributions would be appreciated. And thank you so much. And uh, we'll see you on the next video.